All right, how about there in YouTube land? This is the great Gonzo back with yet another video. Today, we're going to be doing a quick tasting and review of this Sabroso Cuban Ham and Cheese Pizza. Uh, there go the ingredients. You can take a screenshot of it and read it if you want. But those are the ingredients. I live in Central Florida, about four hours from Miami. Miami. All right, and uh, we have Walmart, Publix, Winn Dixie's, Food Lion, uh, Save a Lot, those kind of stores. My local when Dixie sold out to a company called Fresco's and they remodeled the place, actually did a nice job. And basically, to me, in my opinion, it's a Hispanic supermarket. And the employees were mostly Cubans, which is fine. I'm Hispanic myself. Puerto Rican descent from New York. And a lot of the products that came in, I read the back of the packaging or the cans. And let me see if I can bring it up. And I, can you see that? It says, distributed by Roma Food Group. 36, 36, Northwest 60th Street, Miami, Florida. But then it says the product of Spain. So uh, this is a sofrito española. And us, us Puerto Ricans, we make a sofrito or a jeca or a uh, that we use as a base for cooking. Uh, if you want to know what it is and the ingredients, just uh, Google or go to YouTube and type in Puerto Rican sofrito or jeca my videos are just everyday things that I everyday things that I come across. I try not to go too much in depth. You guys seem like you're smart people. If you want to know more about the product, what I'm showing, do your research. That way you get the right information from the right source. Okay. So anyway, here we go. We got a ham and cheese pizza, and here too, I believe it says it right here. Right there, distributed by Freshly Reincorporated, Miami, Florida. So most of the stuff, like I said there before, not to be repetitive, is coming out of Miami, West Palm Beach. And uh, yeah, I thought like everything I picked up said Miami on it, which is not bad. Well, I've never seen this before, uh, sofrito in a can. Uh, Italians make a... Uh, Sofrito too, which is just, um, I believe it's chopped onions, <clears throat> chopped bell peppers, and chopped carrots, or something to that effect. Google it. Italian sofrito. Anyway, let's get right into this thing. I got a pizza cutter here and a knife. Let me try the knife first and see how it cuts into it. So bear with me. It said to preheat the oven to 400 degrees and cook for eight minutes until the cheese was golden brown bubbling. So I did what the instructions said. Set it to uh, the oven to 400. Put it in there. Set a timer on my Google, on my uh, Alexa device. And after four minutes, that thing was still raw. So it actually went double that. And this is what I got. First impressions, dough is kind of hard. I'm gonna pull this on, let me get something else and what was gonna happen. Hold tight, my flippers. <clears throat> let me get a big spoon. There we go. That should work. Mm. So I just scooped out a big old piece. 
The dough is not crunchy at all. First impressions, it looks a little doughy. Let me smell it. It will smell bad. You know, your nose will never lie to you. Let's see what the underside looks like. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that, right? <sighs> Sorry about the lighting. Looks a little doughy. Well, let's go ahead and give it a taste test. Put that to the side. I'm not putting any toppings on it because I want to taste it as it is. And then probably I'll add some crushed red pepper, some garlic powder, whatever. Yeah, right, buddies. <clears throat> Here we go. I love spicy red bell pepper. Red cayenne pepper fresh from my garden. So there's supposed to be ham and cheese there. I don't know if I see a piece of ham or not. Yeah, I see a piece of ham in there. I don't know if you're going to catch it on camera. It's right about there. Well, you see it's a little cheesy. Cheesy, get it? Uh, 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 uh. All right. I'm going to take a bite, so hold tight. Here we go. Initial bite is not bad. Taste, um, first thing that I did taste is the cheese, obviously. It's not bad. But you see that? Look. Let me point this out to you, brothers and sisters. Right here. I can see a little uncooked dough there. Why they said four minutes, I mean eight minutes, excuse me, at 400 degrees, that didn't work. So I did double that, and it's still doughy. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. Watch me drop the damn thing now. Yeah. Right there, wow. I'll eat this one piece and then uh, I'll wrap it up. I'm gonna put it, if I cook it anymore, it's gonna burn on the outside. So those cooking instructions are not good. I don't know if it had anything to do with the tin pan, which I doubt, but I would have probably cooked it at 350 maybe. Cooked it at 350 for a good 14 to 18 minutes. But that's my opinion. Well, anyway, thanks a lot for being patient and sitting there watching me eat a raw pizza from Miami. And it was the sub, but also Cuban ham and cheese pizza. I didn't taste any ham, by the way. But it is what it is. Thank you for watching. Please Consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that little no uh, notification bell for further videos. Stay safe. God bless. And like we say in Italy, Arrivederci.